Hello and welcome to the Faisal channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering the correct way to use Pantone colors, or the fifth color, in printing with Adobe Illustrator. To start, we're using Adobe Illustrator CC professionally today. This method is something everyone should know it works for any version of Illustrator, whether it's an old version or any new versions that might come out in the future. First, let's just clarify what Pantone color, or the fifth color in printing, actually is. Printing colors are CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. So, why do we use a fifth color or a Pantone color? Sometimes, for example, we might have a flyer that only uses two colors. The design might just be red and green. So, to save on printing costs, whether in the print shop owner or the client will need to print it using just two colors. So I go and choose from here in Illustrator. From Illustrator, sorry. I set the red color as Pantone and the green as Pantone. The Pantone number gets printed, and instead of printing with four colors, I only need to print with two. And the other thing that a lot of people use is, for example, magazine printing or book printing, where we use images and colors. So of course, it's best to use the four color CMYK printing process. But you'll notice that the silver color or the gold color, or let's say the blue, stands out in the magazine, you see it shining in your hands. That's because it's not printed using CMYK. It's not cyan, magenta, or black, it's actually the fifth color. All right, let's take a look together now in Illustrator at how I can access the fifth color or the correct Pantone colors used for printing. Because keep in mind, there are some Pantone colors that aren't used for printing. They might be used in things like paint colors, RGB colors, and so on. We want to use the Pantone colors that are available to us and that are specifically used in the world of printing. Let's check it out together. We open a regular square in Illustrator. We go to Window and scroll down. I select Swatches, this color library. I'm going to the color box. Here, guys, we have Pantone solid coated and Pantone solid uncoated. Now, the solid coated and uncoated on the computer or on screens are the same. They're identical. So you'll find the same color as the silver shade. For example, is the same in both solid coated and uncoated. The same goes for gold. Same numbers, same result, same everything. But why is there a difference? The difference shows up in printing. When you go to print using solid coated, that means you're printing colors on glossy cardboard. Glossy cardboard. So you're specifying that you want this color to be printed on glossy paper or glossy cardboard. The printer will see the Pantone color number, and next to it will be the letter C, which means it's coded. With uncoded, it's the same process the printer will see the color, but the abbreviation next to it will be for uncoded, which is U or UC. That's the difference between them in printing, but on screens, they're the same. So let's take a look at solid coded and see what Pantone colors are. All right, we opened it here. Here, we've learned how you can access the color. So now you have a whole world of colors to choose from. For example, if you pick this brown color, instead of being printed in CMYK, it will be printed as a single brown color. And of course, it's available. The ink cans are available at the print shop, either with the printer or with the guy working on the machine, and they use these numbers and marks. So, for example, I chose Let's Check Out the Color. This color, this one right here, how do I find out its number? I select it. Yes, I will go to the color. Okay, I'll find it here, just like we said, its shortcut is C. So here, you add a specific number. For example, let's say the client or someone involved told you, I want to use the silver color because there are different shades of silver in my printer or in my design. So what do you do? I'll give you, for example, a famous Pantone number for silver, which is 877. Go to Luke. When I searched for it, it came up for me. All right. Now, after you worked on it, Let's say you or the print shop were asked to convert this Pantone color to CMYK. Now, there's a well-known method you, as a designer, 
can keep the design as it is in Pantone colors and during printing, it gets converted spot color to CM white during the color separation process. And you can also just keep things simple and convert it using this very straightforward method. You select it, then go here and click, and now you have it in CMYK colors. Alright guys, that was our method for today, explaining how to convert or rather, explaining the correct way to use Pantone colors in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll subscribe to the channel.